Good afternoon, this is Dr. Dirt in the In the Dark exhibit in the Western Heritage Museum, Lee County Cowboy Hall of Fame. And today we're gonna to talk about an Eastern Mole. The mole is a digging machine. It has claws that come out like spades and they dig and they tunnel. They're, they don't, their eyesight is minimal, they're almost blind, they don't really see, but they have an acute sense of smell on their pointed snout. And again, they feed basically on earthworms, they feed on soil uh, insects, when the, when the grub worms are in, in active seasons in the soil, they will come up and go after these worms here also. I mean, it makes a tunnel underground, then above ground it makes a mound, and then they'll have an exit hole in the middle of the night. They'll come out and come up, up, and then we'll eat on the roots of the grass and other plant material up here near the surface. They may come up and, and, and get water near the top on, on the dew and rain and like that but they're not an animal that's gonna come up and go very far out away from their exit hole. Yeah, but any vibration of anything, an animal, even a bird next to where they're at, and they will become very stationary and they'll retreat into their tunnels. Of the, they're very sensitive. They basically spend their whole entire life below the surface of the soil. We do not have moles in New Mexico. Moles are an Eastern animal. They're up in Oklahoma, back East and places like that. Uh, we have what we call gophers. This is called a western pocket gopher. This is what we have in Lee County. And I'm gonna turn it upside down here and point out some features on it. They have very uh, sharp digging claws or spades, just like the mole. But they have incisors in what we, we would call, refer to as beaver teeth. They chew and they gnaw. These, these animals are agricultural uh, pests. They'll get in gardens, they'll get in your lawn. Uh, they'll eat the tree roots of shrubs, trees, roses, uh, vegetation out in the prairie. Uh, they're very aggressive on eating uh, plant life, uh, grasses, and real, very tender uh, herbaceous uh, vegetation. And, and these are unique also that inside they have cheek pouches and, and they're fur lined. And so they can stuff enormous mats of dry grass, green grass, uh, vegetation, seeds, kernels, uh, you know, things that they can carry back in. And they are hoarders. So in their colony, they have our food chambers and they pack it full of the, of the food materials. And an acre of agriculture, like an alfalfa field, you can get a colony of up to 39, 40 gophers working an acre. So you can see how destructive these would be if they're digging tunnels like this and coming up to the surface and eating the grass and the vegetation or the alfalfa. So these, these, these creatures do a lot of damage when they're, they're in there. And they're hard to control. Now we've all tried using water hoses and you have a gopher mound and you put your hose in there and the water runs and runs and runs and your water bill is now it's ticking at a hundred uh, dollars for all the water you put in there. It absolutely does no effect. We're just making the ground wetter underground, hydrating the soil where he can have an easier dig. You really have to get a professional person because of, they have all kinds of escape networks. And they are aggressive. Um, they can bite and do a severe bite to you with these beaver-like teeth. And they will come out and try to attack you if you make them mad enough. And, you, and you're standing between that and their hole to get back into the ground. So this is, a, again, the Western Pocket Gopher. They're endemic to North America. They do range into Central America. But there are 35 species of these gophers. But different sizes. A unique feature of a gopher is its tail. The tail on a gopher is very sensitive. And as a gopher is working the tunnel network, as that gopher, like this mole, is working down through here, he or she is moving soil up ahead of it. And then it's gonna come up into the soil line and exit that dirt. And that's what you're seeing. But it doesn't turn around what it does it backs down in, in the trail and his tail is going back and forth and touching the walls of the tunnel it's very sensitive it sends a signal to the brain of, of, of the gopher you know to know where the, where the walls of the tunnel are or if it all of a sudden the tunnel goes down then this is going to sense that there's a turn or there's an elevation change in the tunnel and they till the soil uh, and the mole tills the soil working the soil getting the uh, uh, you know, stuff into the dirt, aerating the soil, loosening it up or uh, water and, and oxygen and chemical reactions happen within the soil profile. So, uh, you know, we know them as being a bad thing for gardens and lawns and agricultural areas, but, but they do serve a purpose in nature. And, and, a, and, a, and an older gopher can live up to seven, eight years. That's about as long as they live. 
Most of them don't make it past three because when they're on the surface, they're they're vulnerable to the birds of prey that come out. Nighttime, the, you know, the owls can see them working. So these animals, you know, become great food sources for the bigger animals. Yes, and munch, and, and munch, 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 all the way along here. And eat.